Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. I love this little song right here. It's called All My Tears is what it's called. Yes. I love this song. It's one of them old, one of them old songs. I like that old song.
I said, I want to preach your word. Oh, amen. I don't want to never ever preach anything yes. that is not of you. Amen. I said, Lord, show me what I need to preach. Yeah. I looked up and guess what was on the side of the road? Acts 2.38. Oh, <laughs> I said, now that is awesome. The Lord told me I need to preach Acts 2.38. Yeah. So guess what I'm preaching tonight? Acts 2.38. Uh, yeah. Something in that line. Amen. Sooner or later it probably come out. Yes, sir. But you all thank God and I want to praise you because you know what? God oh, has been so good to me. Yeah. You know what? I can't praise him enough for what he's yeah. done for me. I tell you what, I said, watch him move more and more and more. Yes. You know, praise God and thank you that he's still moving. Yes, he and I've got my verse wrote down here somewhere. If you will, go to Galatians, the first chapter. Yes. You know, I thank God for his word. Oh, amen. You know what, I thank God that we've been snowed in so men soon can get into the word. And I tell you what, we've been in the word a lot. And I tell you what. The more I get in it, the more I want to stay in it. Oh, yes, nuggets. But you know what? I, I began to sit and think about this. And there's a, when I read this, there's a point to it. But you know what? The, the day just, it just helped me out. So we're going to start writing the first, first chapter, first verse. Okay. We're going to go down about 12, 12 verses. It says, I, apostle, I, Paul, an apostle, not of men, neither by man, but by Jesus Christ and God the Father who raised him from the dead. And all the brethren which are with me unto the churches of Galatia, grace be unto you, peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins that we might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of God the Father, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. I marvel that ye are not so removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel, which is not another, but there are some men that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. But though we be an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which was preached unto uh, to you, let them be accursed. Yeah. And we said before, so say I. Now again, if any man preach any other gospel to you than we that receive, let him be accursed. For do I know that persuade men or God? Or do I seek a place to please men? For if I please, if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. But I certify you, brethren. That the gospel which we preach of me is not after man. For I neither received it of man, neither was I taught it, but by revelation of Jesus Christ. How you know I began to think about how it says that we're not supposed to go. Have children. I changed the gospel of Christ. But you know what? So many people.
Not three thrones, but three people. The Bible says that there is one God. His name is Jealous, for he is a jealous God. The first commandment says, I have no God before me. You know what? We're not to have any other gods besides one. Huh? Uh, you get up behind the sacred desk huh? and you're preaching three gods. Huh? Uh, that is not the word of God. Huh? The word of God says that you're only one. Huh? And I began to think huh? so many people huh? that are in the one God faith, huh? uh, they will let huh? a person that believes huh? in three gods huh? in the wrong baptism. Huh?
He got to go out there and get all that stuff. No, not only do they take his stuff, they take his kin, they take his, all his family, they take all his animals, they take everything that had his name on it. Tucked them down into the valley. And then they stoned them. And then all of a sudden they, they burned them. And then they covered them up with a heap of rocks. And it said that God's anger was stayed from heaven. Yes. So what do you think is going to happen whenever you bring a cursed thing into the house of God? You know, people don't realize that whenever you go and you bring anything that's not of God behind a sacred death, that's a cursed. You know what, what happened to Abraham's two boys? You know, they got that strange God, that strange father, and put on an altar and God struck them dead. You know what? God's, God's pulpit right here. God's sacred desk is a sacred place. Amen. It ain't made for foolishness. No. It's not made for confusion. I know there are those to preach the word of God Amen. to a group of people Amen. that won't make it to heaven one time. Amen. You know what? Too many people. I want to get behind the sacred desk. And they want to change the way that they think every single week. I don't get my sermon out of a book. Amen. 
I don't get my opinion out of the book. You know what I get? I get my out of that word right there. That's right. You know what? No, I'm out here preaching what somebody else wrote down. You can get on the internet. You can find sermons all day long. Oh, yes. You know what? If I get on the internet and I write down somebody else's sermon, I'm not preaching for God. I'm preaching for me. Yeah. You know what I'm not me? Yeah. I'm the one that I want to preach for, yeah. except for Jesus Christ. Yeah. Because you know what? No other man will save my soul. And no other man will fill me with that Holy Ghost and power. And no other man will heal this body. You know what? Too many people want to follow men. We can't follow men. We got to follow Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. The author and the finisher of my faith. Amen. Amen. There you go. You know what? People got this little thing. Well, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How many people lift their eyes up in hell, being in torments, blind as a bat, because somebody didn't want to tell them the truth? You know, you lead somebody wrong and they go to hell, there's a pretty good chance you're going to be standing right there beside them. That's right. If you don't tell people the truth, then you've told them a high truth. you told them a high truth, that's called a lie. You know, a liar is not going to make it in to the kingdom of heaven. You know, neither is a wishy washy person. You know, the Bible says that we're supposed to be. You know what? Straight as a stick. And we're not supposed to fall for one way or the other. I'm going to tell you what. We better make sure that we know what we're preaching. You know what? Nine out of ten. People that call themselves apostolic want to get in a conference with somebody else or a commentation with somebody else. I guarantee you this. They couldn't even prove with the word of God why they believe the way that they believe. They say, well, my preacher said this or my preacher said that. You know what? You better not go. I know what the preacher said. Try, brother. 
What good does it do if God tells you to do something? There you go. What good does it do for you to sit on it? Yes, let that light shine. Bro. God is looking for a people. Yeah. Yeah. He is looking for a people that will stand up yes. and do what God told them to do. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know what he deals with people? The talents. Yeah. And there's several ability. Mm -hmm. There's several ability. So if God's telling you to pray for somebody, you've got several ability. Amen. So you better be doing what God told you to do. Yes, sir, tell you what, there's too many people that has walked out of the church house. I sick when he walked in, sick when he walked out. Because a person over in the pew beside him won't reach out their hand and pray for him like God told him to. You know what? I don't care what's going on. Because the Holy Ghost is a gentleman. Yes, The Holy Ghost is a gentleman. Amen. He ain't going to do nothing out of order. Nothing out Let me tell you what. If you get up there during the preaching, stand up and start speaking in tongues and dancing around, you know, that's out of order. But you know what? If God tells you to pray for 